I actually, I do have a, a your hammer or law hammer. I'd forgotten. What? When I was painting all those dark angels last week, I was mm -hmm. listening to an audiobook. A, a, a Horus Heresy audiobook. Okay. Um, and I learned some amazing new lore. Right. Um, so I'm going to tell you two two pieces of Warhammer lore. Which one is true? Which Surprise. one is Surprise. Okay. <gasps> I can't believe I'd forgotten about it. Um, two of my, well, two of the things I hate the most it features. I can't remember how you feel about these two things. Oh, is it the fucking, the never dies? It's the never dies, Tom. New, brand new adventures in never die lore. So, for anyone who doesn't know, um, the, the never dies are, it, in, for, in, in the Horus Heresy, for some reason, the authors decided to add this new extra plot line about some perpetuals who are humans who have been alive. No, they're called never dies. They're the never dies. Uh, they've been alive for like thousands of years, um, and they're all best mates with the Emperor. And um, they, all, they all go off and do their own different things. So, do you remember the, 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 the retcon of Alenius the Pious? He was the, um, the Imperial Guardsman who fucking right. um, look out Sir to the Emperor yeah, yeah, in yeah, the yeah, final yeah. battle. And then that gives the Emperor the power to be like, oh, I'm going to go 100% at you, Horus. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I remember. I remember the tale. Um, so, he, there's, there's a new Alanius the Pious, who's not some random guardsman leaping in the way. This hasn't, we haven't got to that final battle yet, but there's this, there's this never die called yeah. Alanius, who is clearly going to be the guy who look out sirs. Mm -hmm. um, he, turns out, was best friends with the Emperor mm -hmm. um, in the, the, the before times, before, even before our times. Mm-hmm. And um, this is spoilers, by the way. Both these stories, well, one of these stories. <laughs> spoilers. Mega spoilers for Mortis, book four of the Siege of Terror. So um, if you care and you don't want to be spoiled because you haven't read that book yet, I do, like, just mute us for a minute. Um, so turns out, Tom, that when the emperor was like conquering the ancient world, mm -hmm. he had a war master. And that war master was Alanius Pius. And at the moment of their greatest victory, he was betrayed by his war master. So there was like a little Alanius heresy. Okay. And it's like poetry, Tom. It rhymes. Oh, and then when there's the Horus heresy, Alanius then tries to save him. And, and does the old... Um... God, I hate that. <laughs> yeah. That's dumb. That's dumb as fuck. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, this sounds lame, but it sounds as shit as a lot of the Horus Heresy stories that I hear about, mm -hmm. which all of it is just stuff that I'm like, I wish I never knew that. I wish that was never written down. <laughs> that yeah. just is fucking dumb. You've taken but the I know someone is there like, oh, keep betraying him, but then he's, he saves him from Horus. Oh. <laughs> like, it comes full circle. Oh, full circle. It's so well written. <laughs> like, oh, God, they it isn't. It isn't well written. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Okay. Right. Okay, so well, that's one story. Okay. The, the, the Never Die was, was the Emperor's war master and betrayed him, and now he's going to come back and, and save the day. Redemption arc. Um, or, different tale of Warhammer lore, um, when the Emperor was, was conquering the ancient world, um, being a badass... He discovered one of our favorite bits of lore, Ooh. the forbidden language of creation known as Enuncia. Right. Do you remember Enuncia? Enuncia, you uh, fucking, you can you die or whatever if you say it, if you type it into a computer, it explodes. <laughs> yeah, it's the forbidden language of magic creation that right. can destroy and create with magic words. Mm -hmm. If you only say the words or you write them down, the book, book burns, you put them in a the computer, it breaks. You say it at someone and they die. Mm -hmm. um, so it turns out, Tom, the, um, the legend of the Tower of Babel mm. is the emperor destroying a coven of sorcerers who live in a tower and are like writing and learning about Enuncia. And he's like, this, this power is too strong. I must cast down the Tower of Languages. Okay. To like, yeah, save mankind you know, from themselves. It's dumb. 
I don't hate that one as much. I think that was kind of fun. Like, it's, it's goofy. Oh, man, I thought you'd hate that because, because you hate Annuncia. Annuncia is kind of stupid, but that's one of those things where I don't mind that somewhere there's a, there's a magic word language. Um, mm. That's not the stupidest fucking thing that happens in Warhammer. <laughs> and there's things that I like that are stupider than that. Like that one, I'm fine with this forbidden language. Mm -hmm. um, Tower of Babel, it's, yeah, it's kind of dumb, but... I don't hate, I, <laughs> okay. like my gut, I just go with my gut. <laughs> sure. The fucking, uh, the never die, I hate that. I hate that a lot. <laughs> I just hate that he comes back and I don't want it to be true that he is coming back to fucking intervene. Also, uh, maybe, maybe you're playing me or I'm good at reading you, but <laughs> right. a calm full circle. There's a, there's a message. It's such like a classic Ben coming up with a story. It's like poetry. It rhymes. Like you uh, adding in, there's like a moral or a message. It feels very Ben. Right. Um, and so, mm -hmm. I'm going to say the Tower of Babel is real, mm -hmm. that there's some tiny footnote that mentions he destroyed that, and maybe there's fucking some Annuncia in there. Um, just because I hate the other one more. <laughs> right. And there's a bit of the Benism with the, the story storytelling. Uh, but you could have yeah. been smart and known that I might pick that. Oh, man. Well, that's, that's good logic. I can't fault your logic. Uh-oh. Um... I'm going to have to come clean. I never used my two are right or two are wrongs back in the day. They're both true. Okay. I just read two dumb things and I thought I've got to tell Tom. Wow. They're both true. Oh, I forgot that that was a... Th a <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, Sorry, okay. that was a, well. bit of a, um, a bit of a fucking bait. Mm. <laughs> I basically, I read the first bit and I was like, that's amazing. I'm going to make a lore hammer of this. And then 20 minutes later, the second bit came up. And I was just like, these are both super dumb. Okay, yeah, fuck. Like, oh, the fucking, like, never oh. die thing. That's so lame. Did you know he also um, went on, um, like, uh, what is it? The, the Odyssey? You know, the yeah. Odyssey, the book, like the Greek thing? He was he was in that. He was on Theseus's ship on the Odyssey. Um, he was there doing that. Um, the, these never dice. They are the lamest vessel for a character. <laughs> yeah. You have this really interesting universe. There's loads of cool. There's wacky so stuff going much on. to explore. Tons of really good things happen. Mm -hmm. You could populate it with loads of different characters. Time goes by. You know, mm -hmm. uh, have these great heroes of legend. Don't have. Jeff never dies, who's just everywhere. Like, oh, I was at the moon landing, and I was there on the grassy knoll, and when and they no, discovered he was, America, He did I, shoot JFK. Fuck, I remember hearing, like, one of them did that. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, fuck, I, I was the guy who flew the plane into the Twin Towers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I uh, dropped the atomic bomb, and yeah. uh, I was, and like, I, the... The guy who was uh, in the the fucking wooden horse going into Greece. <laughs> yep. Uh, I, I stabbed Julius Caesar I in the back. That. I fucking did that. I was in a dinosaur. <laughs> I, I came up with the show Dino Riders as well. <laughs> just hate like oh god, like all of that stuff. Oh. And they just do all of it. Yeah. And then they don't talk about what they did for the next twenty eight thousand years. <laughs> no. And then they're like, hey, we're back, and it's the Horus Heresy, remember us, when we were in ancient history. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, it's, it's so fucking lame. I know, and instead, and we're getting this, instead of, like, um, there, are, there are four scenes in that book, and scenes, not chapters, that feature a Primarch. It's a novel, this fucking thick, I reckon there's ten pages with Primarchs in, and the rest is all fucking... People I don't give a shit about. Yeah. Including Jeff Neverdie and... Oh, my God. 
A surprising amount of vomiting as well. Ooh. Um, 14 incidences of vomit. <laughs> what? <in that>. Why? <laughs> like, I, remember, I got about halfway through and I was like, why is everyone fucking vomiting all the time? And so I, like, I, I got um, like a PDF of the book okay. and did like search word vomit. Why do they keep... <laughs> 14 times. Why? What? Why I don't know. There's no like Nurgle plague weapon or anything like that. Um, and it's different characters in different situations doing different stuff. It's just fucking weird. It's just... Is, oh, wait. Is like vomiting like a euphemism? Because oh. in like anime, mm -hmm. like characters will get like a nosebleed. Oh, that means, means they've got a boner. <laughs> it means they've got like a boner. <laughs> and so these characters, they're vomiting because they're... <laughs> Wow. Can you just replace <laughs> vomit with erection? <laughs> oh my god. Well, there's a lot of <laughs> vomit in mouth action. <laughs> Maybe you're onto Where's something. Where's one of the places you could put an erection, man? <laughs> His mouth suddenly filled with erections. Oh. Could be a thing. Could, could be a thing. Wow. Um... Holy shit. Well, now that I've got to reread this whole book. <laughs> just, well, from now on, just anytime someone vomits, just imagine instead they've just got a boner. <laughs> and everything that is, is talking. Or maybe they're having like a little downstairs accident. Oh, making a mess. And they're vomiting out of their... Perfect. And just see if it still makes sense. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. That's good to know. Yeah, because there's a bit where like... A guy come unlinks his like Titan interface. Mm -hmm. He unplugs out of his Titan and just immediately fucking vomits. Just over. comes just, everywhere. Just comes all over himself. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. normally, I guess some of that's oh. suppressing it. He pulls that out and just like, oh, oh god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, fellow princeps, please, and like has to like rush out of there. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a you know. Probably quite there's, an intense, intense feeling. Th there's a never die who has like a magic knife that cuts through time and space. Of course he does. Um, God, that's a fucking bizarre plot line. He spends fucking five books going, shoop, comes out on a random planet in a random time. And then he's like, shoop, just keeps having fucking dumb adventures that don't go anywhere until eventually he gets to Earth. Great. Except sometimes he's in Earth. 20,000 years ago, and he's like, oh, no, Wait. right place, wrong time. Is he quantum leaping? Yeah. <laughs> Is yeah. he the quantum... Oh, boy. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> yeah, he's quantum leaping, but every time, apparently he's coming in his pants. Sure. He, what, he goes through the portal and just... Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, because I guess, like, maybe... No, no, this is going to get very erotic, very perverse. Right. Um, but yeah, just keep that, keep that thought in your head. Next time someone vomits, it's cool. Perfect. Well, I don't, I don't think I'm going back to read that one, to be honest. But maybe in the future. Are you not going to finish it? I thought you were going to get halfway through. No, I, did, I finished it. No, oh. I was halfway through that the dumb stuff happened. Oh, uh, okay. I have to admit, after that, I really just... Normally, when I'm listening to an audiobook, I'm, if I miss something or I tune out and get distracted by something for half an hour, I'll like rewind it. But after that stuff, I was like, I'm just going to let this one roll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I can pick it up, because most of this is fucking nonsense just, anyway. Yeah, yeah geez. Ugh, God, that sounds oh. awful. Uh, well, we've got to wrap this up.